I've run multiple applications in my home server on separate ports. And those applications are available on subdomains like app1 or app2 of my domain name that has a wildcard record which points that traffic into my host computer. Now that traffic will hit an Nginx application router which unwraps HTTPS and then based on the subdomain that the request comes with, we'll navigate it to the corresponding application running inside a Docker container. I'll grab the command <clears throat> to run my Nginx application router. And a few things to note about this beefy command is that I'm passing in a custom Nginx configuration, which we'll take a look at a little bit later as a volume. I'm also passing in the entire contents of the Let's Encrypt folder, which includes the HTTPS certificate and private key. I'm mapping port 80 and port 443 so that all web traffic goes from my host computer into this Nginx container running inside of it. <clears throat> I have a restart policy set up so that even if the computer reboots, this Docker container is going to restart because I always want this running on my computer. And I am using the official Nginx image from Docker Hub. That started up and I can confirm that it's running. Let's take a look at my folder structure inside of an apps folder that I made in my home directory. I have two subfolders for my two apps that I'm gonna run. And app one is a simple node script that will start a web server listening on port 8000. And whenever it receives a request, it'll log to the console as well as sending back a basic greeting. App two is the same thing, except it is running on port 8001. I'll run app one in this window and in another tab I'll run app 2 just so I can see the output of the console and now that I've got my app router running two applications I can hit app1.curiousdirectory.com and see that app one is responding as well as app two. Now I'll stop one of these and jump into the Nginx app router and I'll include a link to this config in the description. A few things to note about the Nginx configuration that this app router has is that I borrowed a lot of it from the HTML5 boilerplate server config for Nginx. Um, there is so much Nginx configuration you can do and it's not a good idea to start from scratch so taking boilerplate from some reputable source is a good idea. I'm just gonna scroll by all of which I didn't really edit and is not pertinent to you. What is is that I define the path to the SSL certificate, which includes the full chain, as well as the private key, which I got from Let's Encrypt. This server block here will listen on port 80, which is HTTP, and return a redirect to the HTTPS version of that resource. So just upgrade everything to HTTPS for every application that I'll run on my server, I'll create one of these server blocks, which listens on 443 and takes the subdomain like app one 
and maps that to the specific port that I have allocated for it on the host, such as 8000. I started my apps at 8000 because it's high enough away from other applications that may be using uh, privileged ports. Um, and I'll just go from there, 8000, 8001, etc. I also have here my static IP address for my home server. And you'll have to put, if you have a different static IP address for your local network IP address, um, you'll just have to throw that in there.